My friend, we absolutely have to have this conversation because even though it's been a story that everybody has kind of, you know, sort of had their mind on, you know, it always pops up in the highlights when you're watching Sportsnet at the end of the night, you see these guys going out there doing the thing and you're like, oh yeah, you know these players, they're legends of the game and they're doing legendary things. Well, you know what? This is the video where we actually coagulate all those thoughts and bring them together because when it comes to Washington Capitals generational goal scorer Alex Ovechkin as well as Pittsburgh Penguins returnee, the pride of Nova Scotia, one of the best grinders to ever play the game, the surgeon himself because everything he does is so precise, Sidney Crosby... We need to have a conversation about these two. Because, dude, the year is 2021, and both of these guys, Crosby and Ovechkin, are still going out there dominating things the way that we have been used to seeing them the past decade and a half. When it comes to Sidney Crosby, I remember back when I was in high school, this was in, I think it was like grade 11, grade 10, so 2016, 2017-ish kind of territory here. One of my friends, he's a big Penguins fan, and he told me, you know, Sidney Crosby said in an interview the other day that he actually would feel like retiring maybe around 35 years old. And in my head, I was like, you know, yeah... Yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. Like, a lot of NHL players who are in their mid-30s usually have a declining expiration date. And sure, the ones who are stars can, and some of them usually do, stick around past 35, so they're 36, 37-ish. But you see a lot of stars who go out when the sunset is still there. For me, as a Canucks fan, the most immediate interaction that I had with that kind of territory was the Sedins. They retired when they were, what, 37, 38, something like that, in 2018. So the mid to late-ish kind of 30s is usually when stars start to fizzle out of the league, even if they might have the opportunities of still trucking along and still going. But when it comes to Crosby and Ovi, it's gotten to a point now where, honestly, like, there's no reason to slow down and stop. Right now, if you take a look at the point race, Alex Ovechkin, who has played the entire season, is only one point behind Connor McDavid in the standings. He's two behind Dreisaitl, and he's ten points above the guy who was fourth place in the NHL in Nazem Kadri. He has been an absolute monster this season, and if you do the total math on Alex Ovechkin and his point production, hey, 41 points divided by 26 games played, multiplied out by 82, Alex Ovechkin is on pace for 130 points this season. And if you just take a look at the goals, the guy's on pace for 63 goals, and he's third in the league in points. Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid have been in a territory of their own the past few seasons, but now, this year, there is one guy in Ovi who has matched that and who's just behind them. He's a plus 19 too. Remember the reputation of Alex Ovechkin? Oh, the guy only scores goals, the guy doesn't get involved offensively, this and that and the other thing. The past half decade has been sort of riddled with different critiques of Alex Ovechkin's game in different parts of it as well. You take a look at the amount of assists that this guy was able to rack up season to season to season, and it's just mind-boggling how, at 36 years old, this is the season where the guy has gone out there and produced more assists in the past few years, and he's on pace for about 60 assists, which would be a career high. Alex Ovechkin has never had this many assists before. Why is it that when the guy gets past 36, he's all of a sudden a brilliant playmaker? You saw the game against, who the heck was it, Anaheim? Alex Ovechkin had a few really good prime scoring opportunities, but he instead was like, okay, no, I'm going to pass it back instead. Like, there's a great scoring chance for me, but this little draw pass is going to make a really good highlight. And he does that. He gets two assists yesterday. He had seven shots on goal, though. I do personally think that Ovechkin could have had, like, a goal or two in the Anaheim game. It's just he wanted to give it off to the other guys instead. He's been phenomenal. And all this at 36 years old. He is on pace to breaking whatever record you want to go out there and say that he's going to be breaking. If we just take a look at the overall goal thing and take a look at where Ovechkin lies in the NHL record books right here, 
He hit 750 the other day. And now, taking a look at where things are, he is 16 goals behind Yarmir Yager and 51 goals behind Gordie Howe. Sure, Ovi is on pace to not reaching the Gordie Howe mark, but still, Yarmir Yager is right there, and the way Ovechkin is playing, I mean, he's probably going to go out there and best Yager by, what, before the Olympics starts? Yeah, we're watching the best goal scorer to ever grace our game playing this game right now, and uh, he's doing well. He's doing very, very well. Next up, going over onto Sid the Kid, he had a tough start to the season because he didn't start the season. He was out for surgery, and one of the biggest things that I noticed about Penguins media and trade rumors was that Sidney Crosby's name, oddly enough, started to enter the conversation when people were speculating, oh, what should the Penguins do? Obviously, there's no talk that Crosby is on the trade block or that he's going to get traded or they want to get rid of him or anything like that, but it was just people saying, okay... Crosby is 34 years old, and now what? You know, the Penguins are on their last few legs. They might need to go through a rebuild soon. Malkin might be gone soon. Latang might be gone soon. Do you start to go out there and consider the idea of trading your generational superstar? And we covered those trade rumors, or not even rumors, they're not rumors, it's just speculation on the channel before. A lot of you got pissed off when we did that, and I very much understand why. But a lot of this came from the idea that Sidney Crosby was just a little bit too old now. Okay, he's coming back from surgery. Who knows how good Crosby is going to be? Is he even going to be as useful as he has been in the past? Well, you know what? The answer, it's, it's yes. The answer is absolutely yes. Sure, Crosby went out there, and he didn't go out with an immediate impact in terms of point production and flashy numbers, but take a look at what the surgeon has been doing lately. Six straight games, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points in his last six games. Sid the Kid has been on a heater the past week and a half, and this is the kind of pace that a superstar player can sustain when a superstar player goes out there, he's got his mojo, he's loaded up on it, and he's like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna score three points against Vancouver. Two points against Seattle, go down there, three points against Montreal as well. He has been equally fantastic, and sure, the sustained point production that Ovi has had throughout the season has not been matched by Crosby, firstly, because he didn't play a good chunk of the beginning, and he has gone pointless for quite a few games. He had a start to the year that wasn't really all too good, starting against New Jersey and ending off against Vancouver, the first Vancouver game. That was seven games, and he only had two points, so it wasn't really the best for Sidney Crosby standards, but as I said, man, all it takes is one week for players like Crosby to go out there and just start dominating once again. 11 points in six straight games against Seattle, Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, Montreal, New York. This road trip has been fantastic for the Penguins so far in just getting Sidney Crosby back in the groove of things. And now, I mean, the guy's turning 35 by the time next season starts. So do you want to go out there and say that the Crosby sentiment from a few years ago was still true? Okay, 35 years old. I don't know if he said he's going to straight up retire or that he's going to reevaluate things or whatever, but he's turning 35 in August, which will be before next season starts. So assuming Crosby goes out there and continues up the pace that he has had this season, he'll probably end up with a boatload of points, just FYI. Will he probably best out Ovechkin this season? No, I think Connor McDavid and Dreisaitl are taking on that monster, but... Crosby and Ovi, these guys are still at the top of the world, and Sidney Crosby, oh yeah, he's definitely washed, eh? That's why the Penguins gotta go out there and consider the idea of trading him, because the Penguins would be better without him, right? Those were some of the rumors that we had seen, and I think those rumors have been shut down now based off of Crosby and the magnificence that he has displayed alongside of guys like Gensel and against the Vancouver Canucks and Seattle Kraken, etc. Sure, the team may not have won as many games as they probably would have liked. Even without Crosby in the lineup, they still weren't really doing all too hot. But, I mean, to be fair, they are right there, fourth in the Metro, and they are currently, what, tied for a wildcard spot? Yeah, with Detroit. They're in... Oh my goodness, Detroit is there? I didn't realize they were there. Okay, we're gonna have to make a video about that soon. Talk to me in the comments what do you think about Sidney Crosby and Alex Ovechkin, how these guys are going out there and still doing their thing. I hope you enjoyed this video of Trolls 99. And...
Bye.